All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the T-Mobile Arena. It's hard to believe this venue hasn't even been open five years when you think about all the big events it has held. Connor versus Khabib. You beat Steve A to become the double champ inside these very walls. You get chills being back tonight, champ. I'm getting chills being back at the T-Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC, prominent of ah. prominent of high in the rafters, holding up those two titles. Oh. What a great arena, the T-Mobile Arena. And that Vegas air feels like oh. a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Faber's going for a choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. All the way to the out. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. And he's back up. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a long And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control. He's got a ton of options. Big elbow on the inside for Faber. Under two minutes now to go in round one. He's having his way with him here. Back to his feet. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Keep it busy here on the clinch. Look at him get his hip into that kick. Able to land with the left hand. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Aldo gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Over and over, these guys get hit. Right in his face. He has hurt. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? All right, round two. Faber gets hit with a kick. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Faber's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, 
big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with them. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That's a big strike right there. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Alga. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh! Dude hurts. So wow. 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 Oh, my goodness. What a performance. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's